Sisters, we give praise to Ahaya, Ashere Ahaya, Chabata, Chalam. Chabata, Chalam. All right, we give glory to our Donna Yache for all that he's shown. We hope you all have been enjoying this opportunity that the Ruaka Kwadoshi has been strengthening us to partake in. Let's go into the sixth mountain, okay? Parable 9, chapter 1, verse 7. The sixth mountain was full of cliff throughout, some small and some great, and the cliff had vegetation, but the grass was not very luxuriant but rather as if it had been withered. All right. Chapter 23, verse 1. But they that believed from the sixth mountain, which had clefts great and small, and in the cleft herbage withered, are such as these. They that have the small clefts, these are they that have ought against one another. And from their backbiting, they are withered in the faith. But many of these repented, yea, and the rest shall repent. When they hear my commandments, but their backbitings are but small, and they shall quickly repent. But they that have great clefts, these are persistent in their backbiting, All right. and bear grudges. They're unforgiven. All right. Nursing wrath against one another. These then were thrown right away from the tower and rejected from this building. We see where unforgiven gets us. So those of the sixth mountain have to put on the spirit of forgiveness to get out of the backbiting and the bearing these grudges. Such person, therefore, shall live with difficulty. Notice, if one is in unforgiveness, they live with difficulty. It's hard to attain unto the kingdom in walking in unforgiveness. And one shall not attain to the kingdom being unforgiven. Because Yachi said, with what measure you meet, the same shall be measured out unto you. Continue. Alahayim and Aradona, who ruleth over all things, and have the authority over all his creation, Bear no grudge against them that confess their sins, mm -hmm. but is propitiated. Doeth man who is mortal and full of sins bear grudge against man as though he were able to destroy or save him? So, this is a real testimony against us when we walk in unforgiveness. Because our Allah is eternal and he forgives those when they confess their sins mm -hmm. and is propitiated for it. And also, the testament of God said, even if they don't confess their sin, Forgive them so that we don't bear sin in us. Is that the major issue for God? Yeah. Please, those that are of the tribe of God and anyone, right. it's essential to read the testimonies of the 12 patriarchs to understand how to overcome these evil spirits. Let's check Ecclesiasticus, which is Sirach chapter 28, verse 1 to 7, to understand the folly of being unforgiven even though we are flesh. So Rock chapter 28, verse 1. He that revengeth shall find vengeance from Ahiah, and he will surely keep his sin in remembrance. Notice, if we take vengeance, if we're unforgiven, and take action ourselves, our sins will not be forgotten. All right? Forgive thy neighbor the hurt that he hath done unto thee. So shall thy sins also be forgiven when thou prayest. All right. So if we pray without forgiving, it's a waste. One man bears hatred against another, and do if he seek pardon from a higher. It doesn't make sense. To want forgiveness on one, but won't forgive another. Continue. He shows no mercy to a man, which is like himself. And do if he ask forgiveness of his own sins? If he that is but flesh nourishes hatred, who will entreat for pardon of his sins? Okay. Remember thy end, and let enmity cease. Remember corruption and death, and abide in the commandments. Remember the commandments, and bear no malice to thy neighbor. There's a commandment. Notice we're also breaking the law by being unforgiving, because Leviticus 19, verse 17 and 18, tells about bearing grudges. Right. Remember the covenant of the highest, and wink at ignorance. We have to wink at it. A person made a mistake, right. 
hey, I have your strength and I pray for him. Move forward. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. Ephesians chapter 4 talks about how we grieve the Holy Spirit when we have bitterness and malice and wrath. So, I mean, that'd be exhortation for us of the sixth mountain. Let's finish this sixth mountain with Hermas, parable 9, chapter 23, verse 5. I say unto you, I, the angel of repentance, unto as many of hold this heresy, put it away from you and repent, and the highest shall heal your former sins. If ye shall purify yourselves from this demon. Oh, this is a demon. Right. But if not, ye shall be delivered unto him to be put to death. Oh, that's quite interesting. This is a demon. That spirit of unforgiveness. Right. To bear grudge. Okay. So we have exhortation on the sixth mountain and also exhortation on how to escape from it. The spirit of forgiveness. All right. Good. Chao, chao, chao. Chao, chao.